So I want to introduce you to one of our, uh, our good and proud and, and longtime members with the Stereo Barn, who will be talking to you a little bit today, uh, Mr. Charlie Buck. And now you've added security cameras. Not uncommon today, it's very affordable to put a few cameras in in a house on the outside, inside of a house to see what's going on. The ultimate smart home, when you add all these things, you've got lighting control, you now add a, a camera and, and security system. What you can do with that camera, and Jim uh, from Secure Home is going to show this to you, you can log in and see those cameras from any remote location. Okay? You can then put, for example, an automatic door lock that Jim's going to talk about on your door. Now, you could be laying on the beach in Florida. You could have called the plumber because you needed to get a, a, a leaky faucet or something fixed. He didn't show up in time. You're away. He calls you on his phone because he's at your front door. You can literally, on your iPad, zoom into the camera at the front door, see Joe the plumber who's fixed your plumbing for 10, 12 years, say hello, push a couple of buttons, unlock the door and let him right in, disarm your security system, let him do his work, and then on his way out you can rearm everything. So uh, Jim is from Secure Home. Secure Home is another HBA member. We work closely with Secure Home. We have for 20 plus years. Secure Home offers security systems, camera systems, and all. I'm going to give Jim a few moments to talk about his products and services as they relate to the Total Smart Home because that is a service that Stereo Barn does not offer. So I'd like to introduce Jim from Secure Home. Thank you, Charlie. Good Welcome. morning, everybody. And like Charlie said, we uh, we're in business 25 years this year. I remember 25 years, and Charlie might be 26 years member, but uh, sorry, that's okay. Can you hear him? Okay. Um, so we work, we work well with Charlie. Charlie knows um, his business is the, uh, like you said, the, uh, the home uh, stereos and such, and we do the security. So we pass people uh, around, if you want to say, but. Um, our side of the uh, business has evolved immensely in the last three years. It's crazy how much it's changing, as Charlie indicated to you. So as he said, um, you could, on your tablet, have live video or go back and look at uh, different video. This happens to be a um, live shot in the Pottstown area. So. Whatever, whatever's happening right now in Pottstown, you can see that this is a camera system that I happen to have at my church, so that's where I'm accessing, okay? Um, if you have multiple sites, you can tap the screen and you can see um, a different location. Um, maybe you have a business and then maybe you have a, your house system, so you can see both systems. Um, and you're looking at the front door. You can then jump uh, jump into um, your security system, lock system, and you could essentially unlock that door from the location, mm -hmm. Mexico, wherever they have internet. Unlock that door, turn the alarm off, and allow somebody into your house. And it can work in conjunction with the lighting controls that when you turn the alarm off, this happens and it's, it's uh, seamless to you all. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's something that's changing by leaps and bounds <clears throat> these days. Um, pretty much anything you know, that has um, some type of controlling device. Uh, the hot thing, like Charlie said, from our manufacturer right now is energy. Um, Sometime uh, back, uh, I think it was like October, November, they pushed us with all this, you know, test equipment here. Try this out. So it was a uh, device to put on your meter outside your house, and you can actually record how much energy you're using within the home. It was another device to put on certain lamps, or uh, the one guy described to us his uh, home theater system. Mm -hmm. So by cutting his home theater system, when he leaves the house, he was saving, I forget what the number was, but it was a small amount, like Charlie said, but over a year's time, it adds up. It adds up. Um, 
and then you you know had modules uh, that you could put on say your furnace and stuff like that and sort of monitor you know how much energy you're using there and everything we're in the world today in my opinion of data collection everybody wants to know a whole lot of stuff and then you know people are coming up with all these different ideas you know what to do with them so the things are the things they are changing as yeah. you might as you might hear so Jim, uh, the approximate cost of a uh, of a of a power door lock like that. So you could go to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, and pick up something like this that um, can work with just a key fob for roughly um, hundred and eighty dollars ish, um, and it should fit right into what you have. There's no drilling or sawing or anything else like that, um, and you could have this keypad. Um, with a fob maybe for that uh, quick price. The difference between this one and the one you might see at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot is it has uh, the technology to talk to our equipment. Mm -hmm. Z-Wave is the, the technology that uh, a lot of the stuff we use. There's a lot of different um, technologies out there. A lot of you are familiar with Bluetooth. Um, very similar, it's just another protocol on how things talk back and forth. Uh, the Z-Wave, they like it because it is a very low level, um, it doesn't consume much battery life, and so therefore this lock, uh, which has to have um, four AA batteries in it, will last you uh, a mm -hmm. long time, depending on how much activity you have on it. So, mm -hmm. pretty affordable. Um, it's not a. It's not a, like Charlie said. I, I remember, you know, going to these smart homes, and they said, "Oh, this is smart." And I mean, we're yeah. talking twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars or more. In the, or yeah, more. originally it made more. And yeah. it wasn't, in my opinion, yeah. smart. I mean, right. so. So now, uh, what we're talking about, as I said earlier, all of the manufacturers of these different products offer free or almost free apps to run them. So that on your iPad, you might have six or seven or eight apps. One for your lighting control, one for your heating control, one for your security, one for this. And that's perfectly fine. That is a very cost-effective way to do it. The, the, the smart house system that we were talking about earlier, right. you can buy a software package that gives you a total control. It kind of like gathers all that stuff together and puts it into one interface and operates everything from a single keypad seamlessly. You, you know, that is still possible. That would add a few thousand dollars to kind of collect all the different apps and put them into one place. The product we use is that type. It, it brings everything into one house and under um, one app, you can control the lights, the thermostats, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards, and you don't have the, um, a whole lot of different uh, buttons to be pushing, so. So, Did you? Um, so this is what this app looks like, and it just starts listing, you know, the lock, the lights, you know, the live video, that mm -hmm. type of thing. So everybody's uh, widget is pretty much the same. They all do the same thing. It's just a matter of learning that widget and feeling comfortable mm -hmm. with it. Um, I even have a customer, they, they can turn their pool pumps on from their app, you know, take the cover back. Mm -hmm. I, I don't yeah. know, I don't have a pool, but. And I think, well, every house we get into, and, as, and Jim and I do work in a lot of homes together, uh, everyone is interested in different facets of this. So not, not, there's not one, one large package that everybody has to buy all these different disciplines. It's whichever one is, is of interest to you. And yep. I have uh, a, a family member who didn't want to spend a whole lot of money but they have a home uh, down in Delaware. Um, they ended up with, uh, it's called uh, a Nest from uh, Lowe's, sells this thermostat that you mm -hmm. put in, ties into your internet, they have an app. Yeah. They're, they're driving to Delaware now, they turn on the air conditioner, they love it. They didn't want to yeah. get into a whole lot of money and I understand that. So we found that for them, works like a champ for them. So everybody has their own Exactly right. We've done that a lot. We would go away on a week's vacation, and you're driving home. You know, we, you know, I was famous. We'd we'd go to Florida in the, in the uh, in the winter. We'd shut, you know, heat down, turn heat down. You'd fly back to the airport. You're driving home from the airport. You can dial in, and start turning the heat up. 
so that you come home not to a frigid house or right. vice versa right. in the summer get the air conditioning turning on a couple hours before you come home or for that matter even turn your hot water heater back on right. if you shut that off that can be automated and controlled with an app yeah I, I thought this stuff was really neat I at my house I have a driveway sensor so when you pull into my driveway it's a metal detector that activates a box inside and in my house it ding-dongs my intercom so I know somebody's pulled into my driveway um, I thought it was pretty cool when I put the cameras in I'm gonna tie that into the cameras and every time mm -hmm. somebody pulls into my driveway I'm gonna get a picture well, I got sick of that after a week <laughs> I was like what are you guys doing you know ding 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 my kids my wife you know mm -hmm. so as cool as it was in the beginning it only took me a week to realize okay I don't need that so right. um, Okay. I'm not living in Fort Knox, so. All right. Uh, thank you, Jim, yep. for that, that part. You're, st you're staying close by yep. just in case. Okay. We may have some questions later. Okay. So we've talked about lighting control and automation, the various security and safety and energy savings aspects. We've talked about security cameras. Thank you, Jim, for being able to provide a live, what you saw was a live demonstration of cameras operating at his church, and that's indicative of what you can do with your home. We've learned about opening and closing doors automatically, and we've touched on programming and automating thermostat heating and cooling.